hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl dipsy and i'm back with another video as promised i promised you guys a makeup series where i basically go step by step teaching you guys how to do makeup so i'm gonna create a playlist on my channel that i'm gonna name makeup 101 and if you wanna go back to the videos or whatever you can check the playlist out so i'm basically gonna tell you guys about like the essential makeup products that you need and affordable makeup products i'm just gonna warn you guys starting to buy makeup is not cheap it's not it's not cheap it's quite expensive but then like the moment you have your basics building onto that is very affordable because you might need let's say your primer runs out and it's like 60 something rands you get me so without further ado let's get into the video <music> So I made a list of the products that I use and the products that I've watched reviews on. The only thing that I'm not really sure about is the Scarlet Heel eyeshadow palettes. But then if you want to see how they apply the pigmentation or whatever, you can watch a YouTube um, a review about that. And just a disclaimer, I'm just going to say my ring light might fail me. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that I've been complaining about my ring light. So hopefully my ring light does not fail me. My ring light just behaves you know but anyway let's get into this video so the first thing that you're gonna need is the Garnier I don't know how to say this word micella micella whatever the Garnier micella water here is the 400 ml one so I'm basically gonna put like a picture and the price of the product and I'm gonna try to link the product in the description box and while I edit this video if I realize that I maybe skipped something or like forgot about something I'm just gonna link it in the description box okay so after this video be sure to check Check out my description box to make sure that you see all the products that I linked and then if I forgot about something I'm just gonna link it there so it's the Garnier Micellar water obviously you need something to remove your makeup after like you know a long day of having makeup on your face and removing your makeup correctly is very essential do not ever ever sleep with makeup on so the uh, the Garnier Micellar water I've tried it I bought like the little bottle it was so nice on my skin I never broke out I never like it's just amazing it's amazing it's just that I ran out right now so I need to go buy another one moving on to a primer I've only tried one primer I started applying makeup in 2018 so throughout my years I've only been using this primer and it's been working good for me so people who don't know what a primer is a primer is also very essential when you do your makeup some people have pores on their skin or have like rough skin texture or whatever so basically a primer is just to smoothen out your skin surface it's like preparing a canvas before you paint on it so the one that i would recommend is the maybelline baby skin pore eraser primer this is what it looks like and it's been amazing for me it's like it's been working great for my skin it's been doing the damn things so be sure to get this moving on to concealers so concealers obviously you conceal dog marks you conceal your eyebrows the concealers that I use are from LA girl pro conceal I have four different ones when I conceal my eyebrows I use the this one the LA girl pro concealer in the color fawn and this is when I do like a no makeup makeup look or like a natural look because this kind of like matches my skin tone so it doesn't look too highlighted or whatever and then when I do like a glammed up look or when I highlight underneath my eyes I use this one in the color creamy beige and then I use these ones it's been a while since I've used these ones because I don't know I've just like shied away from like cream concealers I mean cream contours like I don't use cream contours anymore as you can see like they still fairly full so this one is beautiful bronze and the other one is chestnut so these are the ones that i use sometimes to contour like there's nothing wrong with it it's just like preference when you do your makeup you kind of like get to know what you prefer so the next product is your foundation i currently use the fit me um, matte poreless foundation from Maybelline in the color 326 
So choosing the correct foundation is very essential because if you have oily skin, obviously you would like to go for something that's mattifying and then if you have dry skin you would like to go for like a foundation that's an oil base so the other foundations that i would recommend is the revlon color stay full cover foundation this product after this one runs out i'm definitely getting this product because i've watched like so many reviews i think it's like they late their latest um release of foundations from revlon it is amazing you literally don't need anything to conceal your dark marks in order to use this foundation as soon as i get my hands on it i'll review it on my channel it is so amazing because with this one it's not really full coverage because i still have to conceal my dark marks in order to use this foundation Another foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. I think this one would be good for people with um, dry skin because like it gives you like a dewy finish. I haven't really watched reviews on it but then I trust Maybelline guys. Like Maybelline is the girl and it's very affordable so yeah. For your powders, I've been using this one powder. Please don't come at me. I've been using this powder since 2018. It's probably not the greatest anymore it's probably expired but you know what it still does the things for me so please don't come at me i use the yardley absolute translucent loose powder and then this one is suitable for all skin tones because it is a translucent powder so if you're not sure which powder to use just go for like a translucent powder and then another powder that i would definitely recommend i think i saw this on k republic's channel it's the maybelline fit me pressed powder it's just as I said, Maybelline is the girl, guys. Maybelline and Essence, their products are just amazing and very affordable. And then I would like to talk about highlighters. With highlighters, I'm not a person that's very finicky. Like, just anything goes for me. As long as it does not make me look ashy and as long as it looks very natural. Because I don't want to look like a doll, man. I just want to, like, with my highlighters, I just want my highlighter to to look very natural and look like it's a very natural glow so i found this some of the products that i bought i bought them in town pretoria cbd very affordable works the same as drugstore um products i don't want to say drugstore because we don't really say drugstore when i say drugstore i mean like discam clicks so yeah those are the stores that i'm talking about i can't even see the name on this one i think it's ashes or ushas this foundation is is the gel it is like this foundation is great i've been loving it i've been loving it with my all but then this one i just use it for when i do like very glammed up looks because it really highlights like it really highlights but then it's not like the type of highlight where you don't even look natural you just look like you put gold on your face it's not like that and then another um kit that i would recommend is the anastasia beverly heels glow kit i also got this in pretoria cbd so it's probably not the original anastasia beverly heels but as i said as long as it works baby girl why not please be sure to get um something that's suitable for your skin tone because i remember i used this one this shade it's in what's this shade taffy it's sassy grape this shade is brilliant on me like it's amazing and then i used it on my friend who's darker than me and it looked ashy so please be sure to test the highlighter before you buy it because sometimes the undertones is just a little bit tricky and then the first time that i did makeup i used to use this gold color so with makeup you don't really have to use a highlighter to highlight your face you can use an eyeshadow so this is an eyeshadow from cryolin from this eyeshadow palette and then yeah as i said the first time i started um doing makeup i used to use this shade for my highlighter it worked great it's awesome i still use it even now i put it on if you can see i'm not sure if you can see it but it's just amazing I forgot to talk about the eyebrow pencil so eyebrow pencils i'm not very finicky about those as well as long as it's like the correct shade of brown and it applies fine it does not melt off my eyebrows so from 2018 i've been using essence it's the essence designer eyebrow pencil 
and uh, this one is the wrong shade i don't know why i bought this one it's like very very light but then this is what it looks this is not the shade that i use but this is the this is the eyebrow pencil that i'm talking about it works great i've been using it for the longest so if you want like a very affordable eyebrow pencil this is the girl for you please do not use black on your eyebrows please do not use black on your eyebrows thank you then we're gonna talk about eyeshadows i remember um the first one that i got the first first eyeshadow palette that i bought myself was this one from nyx i've been having this since 2018 i don't wear makeup every day which is why i still have like products from 2018 and then these are the shades that are in here but then i was like oh, these are so nude and natural and then i was like i really want to try like different colors on my eyes and then i got myself this beauty treats um eyeshadow palette and then it comes in these like different shades so i would recommend this one for like people who are beginners because it's beginner friendly it's also affordable it has almost every color just the pigment is a little bit dodge so you need to like pack it on your um pack it on your eyelids but then very very affordable it works if you're a beginner you're not gonna waste your money just get yourself this one and then last year i got myself these two so these ones I got in Pretoria CBD. I forgot the prices. I'll just try to remember and link them in the um, description box. I loved this one because it had like very nude, natural eyeshadow palettes, uh, eyeshadows. And then it also has like these very colorful ones. This is my current favorite. Like this one and this one, baby girl, you never go wrong with these. And then this is the colors that this one has. They are also amazing. So another thing that I wanted to say, if you would like me to buy these eyeshadow palettes for you, because I saw them in Pretoria CBD, you can contact me either on my Instagram, on my Twitter, and be like, hey, yo, can I send you money to buy me these eyeshadow palettes? By all means, guys, I really don't mind. Like, I genuinely, genuinely don't mind. So, another eyeshadow palette that I would recommend, well, eyeshadow palettes that I would recommend that are very affordable are the Scarlet Hill eyeshadow palettes. I haven't used them please do watch reviews on them and see if you're happy with the application so your next products are your mascaras to be honest with you i'm not very picky with mascaras like as long as it makes my eyelashes look nice but my current favorite is this the the isabella garcia i don't know if i'm saying it right isabella garcia international fifth wonder mascara Normally when I go for mascaras, I go for these ones that have like a silicone thingy and they have like really, really small bristles because you can get to like the little hairs without smudging. And then I took this one from my sister. I think she got it from Foshini. It also has like small bristles, but the head is kind of big. I haven't really used this one, but then I've seen it on her and it looks amazing. This is the color limited pumped up mascara and then um the liquid liners most beginners are very scared of liquid liners because they're like oh my gosh what if i'm gonna mess up or whatever i was also scared i'm not gonna lie i remember the first person i think i saw this from from k when she started like her channel and then she she had like a very steady hand i'm like how does she do it because i would also like to be like that you know so i practiced and practiced and practiced until i got it right yes at first your wing is gonna look thick it's gonna look it's gonna have different shapes and forms okay but just be patient with yourself so this is the essence liquid ink eyeliner be sure to get a waterproof one even with your mascara please get a waterproof mascara or a waterproof eyeliner i just prefer those your makeup still looks nice after like a long day because some mascaras just smudge and then it's like it's just not cute anymore it's just not cute you know i genuinely go for this one but the time that i bought this one this one was not available i prefer this one because of the because of the applicator it's so thin so it allows you to make like really really thin um winged liners and then well wings and then this one is a little bit thick 
I don't really like the applicator so I wouldn't recommend this one for like a beginner because the applicator is a little bit thick you know so you can't really control it that much and this one like the like the applicator thing it's a little bit dry now but it feels like one of those um nail polish brushes like it's very what's the word controllable and then for your um setting spray i haven't really tried like setting sprays i don't really use a setting spray i used to use one in 2018 and then this is the one that i used to use yes this is from 2018 but it's currently finished it's from essence it's the essence instant matte makeup setting spray with ever matte oil free non sticky lightweight so this is the setting spray that i used i've been using i don't use anymore um i don't know like i just feel like setting sprays like there's some people who like who genuinely can't go a day without a setting spray i'm one of those people like my makeup still stays without a setting spray you get me so and second last is the lipsticks with lipsticks as well lipsticks mascaras eyeliners i really don't care like as long as it does the job and highlighters as well i really don't care like it has to do the job that's fine with me so these ones i also bought from um from pretoria cbd from the very same shop that i bought these um eyeshadow palettes this one is the only one that i didn't buy from um, Pretoria CBD it's the essence matte 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 okay is <laughs> this one I haven't used this in a while I think I also bought this in 2018 this is the shade of it I think let me just swatch it this is the shade I, like there was a time where I was obsessed like I was obsessed with matte maroon burgundy um, lipsticks and then I just grew out of it like I used that was the only lipstick that I used to wear that was like legit the only lipstick that I used to wear then I got these ones from Pretoria CBD like as long as the lipstick is affordable and it's matte and it does the job why not so I'm gonna smudge this one I'm not really a fan of this shade honestly like I'm not a fan of this shade on me it just looks weird but then when I used to like people's makeup and whatever you find that some people look nice with like these other shades that I don't like so that's why I bought them so this one is this one over here as you can see I'm a fan of like nude lipstick and then these are like matte lipsticks matte lip gloss yes <laughs> And it's from Huda Beauty. I also got them from the shop in Pretoria CBD. Let me just swatch one. So when you put it on, it looks like a lip gloss, but then it dries to be matte. I love this one. This is this one that I swatched here. I love, love it. And for my lip liner, believe it or not, I use my eyebrow pencil okay and then the last products that are very essential obviously are beauty blenders and your makeup brushes i'm not gonna show you guys my beauty blenders right now because as i said i wasn't ready to film this video i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm really tired but then i was like i need to take this advantage because i was like is my ring light gonna switch on and then i switched it on and then and then it worked and then i was like you know what let me just use this opportunity to film this video because it's been long overdue right now so the beauty blenders are not currently clean but then i'll just put them on the screen i think i got them from clicks or discam i'll just link it down below and these are the only beauty blenders that i use i tried buying beauty blenders from like you know these shops from pretoria cbd and whatever they just don't work the same man like they just don't work the same and then makeup brushes let me go through like different makeup brushes that you need and how they look so you're gonna need a fluffy brush like this this is the brush that i use to apply my powder or to apply my blush and then this is your foundation brush i don't really use foundation brushes i just like take the foundation put it on my finger put it on my face and just blend it out but pe some people use foundation brushes so 
you can get this if you want to be fancy schmancy and apply it with your brush but then it's like it genuinely does the same as applying it with your fingers you just need to blend it out with your beauty blenders and then your concealer brush this is what you use to conceal your eyebrows or like apply concealer underneath your eyes or like on your nose or whatever and then this one i use it to apply my contour so as i said i don't really use cream contours anymore so i just take the powder contour and like do it like so some people use it to apply highlighter but then i sometimes use the small one to apply highlighter or i just use this this big one just just works it works the same for me it depends on which one is closer and then this is your spoolie brush and then this is what you use to like comb out your eyebrows in order for you to draw your eyebrows on also these ones are very 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 essential make sure that when you buy brushes you get blending brushes as i said my products are not clean because i was not prepared to film this video but your blending brushes are very essential because you need that eyeshadow to blend sis okay so these are the brushes that i have i think i got this one from Discam. yes i got this one from Discam. And then these ones that have like this mermaidy thing, these blue and pink ones, my boyfriend got them for me from AliExpress. They were very affordable. So you can get these or you can get like brushes from anywhere as long as the bristles are very soft, then you're good to go. And then this one I use, this one I normally use to apply like my eyeshadow on my inner corners. So you get a small one like this. And then this one I use when I do like a cut crease and then I apply the eyeshadow on my concealer that I use to cut my crease. And then the last one is this one. This one I basically use to like put my eyeshadow underneath my eyes. And yeah, that's it. I don't think I left anything out. Yeah, I don't think I left anything out. Those are basically your essential makeup products that you need. As I said, I'm going to link every product in my description box. And if you guys want to ask me questions or if you guys are going to buy your makeup products, and I'm sure like about Tobadi 31 are so happy that this video came out on time because you can budget to buy uh, to buy your makeup so if you want to ask me anything let's say you are like at clicks or something and you want to ask me oh is this the correct brush is this the correct you know then just pop me like a dm like i genuinely don't mind guys as i said this is to help you this is to help you like be able to do your makeup so whatever makeup questions you have just ask me just dm me my twitter my instagram and yeah, I'll be sure to answer your DMs. So this is the end of the video. And I hope that you guys get your products before we start with the whole series. Because my next video that I'm going to upload is my eyebrow tutorial. So yeah, this is the end of the video. Please don't forget to like and share on your social medias. Tell all your girls, your friends, and tell them to come check out this channel because we are about to learn how to do our own makeup okay and please like this video and comment down below if you have any questions and yeah what you'd like to see during this makeup series i'm gonna be signing out bye